You're you're on a different microphone today. Do you want to explain yep. what's on what this microphone is for people who aren't yes. watching the video? And we'll so, apologize to the as people. people know. Last week we were recording right before my Vision Pro delivery, so I have my Vision Pro on today, and you're hearing me through the Vision Pro microphones rather than my standard microphone. It's also why I'm sideways on the, on the video. We didn't do some pre testing and realized that Streamyard, uh, because I'm in a mobile app it defaults to a landscape view and you have to set the orientation before we go live but <laughs> we were live already so yep i'm sideways pseudo adam down there in that window for people who can't see it it's video i'm in you know picture portrait mode when you turn it landscape on your iphone and that's how you're seeing virtual me which also looks kind of old and another interesting thing is you know you can add glasses so you do your scan without the glasses you do your you know oh. thing those are digital glasses, but for whatever reason, they have a, a ton of frame selection, but you have to do transparent glasses. I don't know why. So, Oh, you, you can't do You can't do colors. Frames. Like, I would make really? them black because normally yeah. my glasses are black, but at least not yet. I don't know if they'll change that. Yeah, that's not, interesting. That was an interesting thing. Can you learned. have your avatar wear a Vision Pro to be no, like super no. meta about it? No, you can't. <laughs> there wasn't a Vision Pro glasses. Option. What? That yeah. seems crazy. Okay, so uh, hey, I haven't gone for my Vision Pro demo yet. I, I have one scheduled. Uh, I'm going to do it this weekend. Um, it, it, Pete or John, have either of you done a, a Vision Pro demo yet? Or is, is Adam truly the only one here of us that's worn one? Yep, I think he is. Yeah. Okay, so I have questions, Adam, because you've had this thing for a week. Yep. Uh, um, the, the Really, I, I mean, I have all kinds of questions, but the, the first one that I have is, is about one of your stated potential, you know, uh, predicted use cases for this work. Like yep. you work as a programmer, so how how has that gone? Like so, I play. Yeah, so that's a that's a perfect question because that's like my my big use case. Um, I still have a lot of things to set up, and there were some challenges with work. So, as you might imagine, I work remote, so. Uh, one of the big apps we use is um, Slack, right? And we yep. all are not Slack. Um, Microsoft Teams. Zoom. Maybe. Zoom. Oh, right. Yeah, We're okay. on Zoom a lot. So there's a Zoom app for um, for it, and it works great. I, I did a Zoom call with some of my coworkers. But one of the features we use in Zoom and we rely on a lot is um, breakout rooms. So we have breakout rooms and... Um, I cannot figure out how to do breakout rooms in, and I have to be very, very careful using my hands because to talk because oh. things are going off all over <laughs> all over the place. But um, in in Zoom, I couldn't find breakout rooms, so oh. I couldn't get into. We we break into pods, so throughout the day when I'm working, I'm sitting with my other developers that are in my pod, but they're in a breakout room, so I couldn't get into that breakout room. Um, now I could do it from my computer. Um, and that worked great, like bringing up the, the computer display. So, you know, look at my Mac, connect, creates a virtual display. I can use my regular uh, keyboard and trackpad. That works awesome. You can throw up, it's, it's, it's a 4K screen. You are limited to one 4K screen. So if you want to do multiple screens, you can bring up other, uh, you know, Vision Pro apps, basically any iOS app or any Vision app you can put up, you know, all around that sure. Mac screen. Um, so you have to really rely on that. So that works great because I can do email because all of the office suite is there. So like Outlook, no problem. I can throw that up there. I could throw up Zoom, but all the features of Zoom don't look like they're in quite enabled yet, at least not in the not Vision it. Pro app. I I could probably also download the iPad app. I don't know if iPad app supports breakout rooms, but I would imagine that it does. So, um, but yeah, like, you know, Visual Studio Code was there on my main screen. They don't have a dedicated app for it yet that I would imagine Microsoft might change. Um, so as more Vision Pro apps, you know, it's early. So I, I, if, one of my very first things, impressions is that there's a lot of awesome stuff. The, you know, the iPad apps work okay. Vision Pro apps are definitely better. They're they're better optimized in terms of the sure. interface and stuff like that. So I think as more apps become available, I look at it like the original iPhone, right? When the original iPhone came out, we didn't have apps or there were, and even when we had apps, there was very limited app and it took a while for that to kind of get there. So 
I mean, but at the end of the day, it worked. Um, and with the right strap, did I do some? No, Pete oh, okay. just Pete just made me nice and big on the screen. So <laughs> I did. No, you did. Yeah, well, somebody so, did. So, long story short, I think it's workable. Um, there's a, there's a learning curve though, because the other thing is is you have to look. You know, you have to be actually looking at a window to interact with it. Or and the hardest one was typing. So yes, you can use your keyboard, but I need to be looking at the place where I need to be typing. Right, right, which is a little bit different. I can't just like have the cursor in the window over there and type. I have to like look and type. So that's Got a little it. bit different. Okay, all right, um, but, but 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 like but for it, doing your coding work, I, yeah. like the the not meeting part of it functional. Yep. Yeah, yeah, and the other thing is, uh, when you're using the keyboard, it will also bring up a little virtual. Uh, like anchored display like when you're using your physical keyboard yeah. uh, above the physical keyboard so you can see if you're looking down at your keyboard you can see what you're typing but again you have to go over insert the cursor you know like start get it going and then kind of you can huh you can type away but fascinating I mean, it, it, like it, first weekend you're able to be productive with it and and all of those things ish yeah not as productive as if i'm just using my dual monitor setup but like i said it's it's a learning curve i can see yeah. getting there it's just right. like this right. is a whole new thing and, and like even now when i i still want to talk with my hands but if i pinch mm. things you know dialogues are coming up and stuff yeah <laughs> so i think i think, I, think careful. <laughs> I blamed pete for changing the video layout i i, I oh, don't was think i doing it it turns out I, I don't think it was pete yeah <laughs> <laughs> did i do it Maybe. I think yeah. you, oh, the three of us, I don't think John has those controls on his screen because of the way we brought John in today. So it, it's us. Oh, yeah. probably yeah. if I look at those little icons down below yeah. and then yeah. make a hand gesture. Yes, that was probably me. Yeah. Like, making but things it, go wonky. Just as but long as you don't end the call. to see yeah. when he does make a hand gesture, puts his hand up in front of his face and moves his hand. It, it does it. Yeah. Yeah, now, it, your fingers it, are invisible when they're in front of your face. That's or no, they're, they're translucent. My microphone, which yeah. I can't see. Hey, so, somehow you just turned portrait mode, Adam, on the screen. Well I, done, sir. I did. Well, I don't know what I did. What'd you do? 